Another example of a man I know personally as well. Till the age of 60, he never put his forehead on the ground. Never made a sajda. He was born into a Muslim family in a Muslim country. Until the age of 60, he never prostrated before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not even a single time. He had two sons and Allah guided his sons in, the, in their 20s. They started practicing them praying and they tried to give their father da'wah, give him advice. Over and over again, but he never responded to his children. He always thought that these are my children, I know more than they do. So he never settled or he never dealt or handled his pride in order to listen to his sons. And one day he saw his, his son, his eldest son growing his beard. And after his son gave him advice, he said, you know, why don't you shave this sweeper or this groom? Why don't you take it, out, take it away? The son got shocked and he just said, out of, out of shock, in a state of shock, he said, I'm afraid you'll go to the hellfire. I'm afraid you'll go to the hellfire. He just got offended and sometimes we mix our personal feelings with our concern for others in terms of da'wah. But subhanAllah, it brought about good results. That very word shook the father. He started thinking about himself. And subhanAllah, a few months later, the father sneaks into the masjid and makes his first prayer ever in the masjid. Where his, son, where, his, where his son leads the prayer. The son didn't know the first couple of times, but other people brought it to his attention. Understanding the, that his father has an issue with pride, he never spoke with his father about it. He said it seems that he found his way, let him carry on on his own. And that's exactly what he did.